All right, guys. So, first of all, I want to say, all the editing, don't get used to it. <laughs> like, I've said this since the beginning of the channel. No production value here. So, I'm not going to be putting that much time into editing, because after doing all that Mothman shit... <laughs> That's 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 my content. That shit that I was working on all last week. Way too much time editing. So I, I, I needed a break for a few days. But time to finally talk Ringu. This isn't going to be too long because I already did the ring, which is kind of the downside of doing the remake first, is that I mentioned some of the differences here and there. Now, this film is phenomenal. For anyone who hasn't seen... Ringu, the original from Hideo Nakata, and has seen the ring. That's that's actually that's why you're not getting clips and shit in this video. <laughs> if you haven't seen Ringu, you go watch Ringu. Especially if you've seen the ring, and especially if you love the ring. But this is done so much better in every single way. It's just a masterpiece of Japanese horror. I did a poll and stuff, even though a lot of people said other. Ringu was like the only other option people were picking as their favorite Japanese horror. So this movie has a ton of love. This movie is an absolute classic, and it's an ex absolute perfect film. Now, I've said before, don't expect me to name any of these people, <laughs> these actors, anything like that, because I will butcher their names. So same as like in uh, Quaidon or Kaidon, whatever <laughs> that that's pronounced as. This stars a bunch of Japanese people. And they're great. Like, great acting in this film. It feels so much more natural. Like, you could see it in the opening scene. With the two girls talking. Right before she dies. In the Ring remake, it's fine. But you, it's it's so much more atmospheric in this. It's The tension is just off the walls in certain scenes in this movie. And as much as I think the Ring, the remake, is... A phenomenal remake. This just trumps it. Even though I've seen The Ring a lot more than I've seen Ringu. But let's talk Ringu. Now, just on the the premise of this movie alone. Like, this is one of the first films I can remember that really played on the whole technology angle from VHS tapes. Like, you mentioned this to anybody without the title. And you just say, you know, that, that horror film with the cursed videotape? The Ring. Like, immediately, from everybody. So, as has been done before, I say this all the time with premises. Who knows? But this is this is what kick-started all of that. Then the remake just made it real popular. Then we got, like, Fear.com and other stupid movies. That, <laughs> that's not a good movie, man. Fear.com. But the whole premise here of a videotape, a VHS tape. And I know this is based off a novel... Fuck me if I remember the guy's name. <laughs> it probably sounds like one of the other people stars in this movie. Whatever. It's said already. But the whole idea of watching a videotape and then you're cursed to die seven days later is brilliant. <laughs> like, it's an absolutely brilliant idea. And it's executed amazingly in this film. So just for the premise alone, and I think I mentioned this in The Ring just for the title alone, excellent too. Because you have the ring from the well that they see, you know, before you die, you see the ring. Then you have the cyclical nature of the curse that just keeps on going and never stops. And it refers to the ring on the phone too. Now, for people who haven't seen Ringu, you don't hear seven days. They never utter that line. That was just for the American remake. Like, it doesn't need it. Like, I know it's an iconic line, but just this whole opening scene, like I said, is so much more natural feeling. It feels like they're just having a regular old conversation. It doesn't feel as scripted as the remake by Verminsky. It's still fine. Like I said in that video, when all my thoughts on it, the hell if I remember by now, <laughs> that was a week ago, you serious? But... It's just so much more, I don't know, compelling in this film. The way the story is told. Like, yeah, as much as I love the twisted face, like, effect and stuff on Noah and um, the girl from the beginning of the movie, whatever her name is. I'm bad with names. Somebody, I don't know if you subscribed or not, so I might lose you here. But 
if you watch an hour-long video, or most of it, a discussion on a movie, and the only thing that you can comment is that I mispronounced the person's, a character's name a few times, fuck off. Like, <laughs> like really, like, as honest as I can be. That's all you took from all of that talking is about a film, is that I mispronounced the guy's name? Yeah, that happens a ton here. So, welcome to the channel, and peace out from the channel if you see this and decide this guy's a dick. But comment something that starts a little bit of a discussion. That's the whole reason I do this. The whole reason this community does this. Father Meriden, not Merrill. That don't help. <laughs> don't start a discussion. That just starts me going, oh shit. Yeah, my bad. I think I corrected it later in the video. This has nothing to do with Ringu, but you guys know how it is by now. And person, if you do watch this... <laughs> <laughs> know that I'm sarcastic most of the time. I am kind of serious about that, so take that as you will. Now, let's see if I can even remember the names of the characters in this film. I cheated already for Tomoko. I looked that up. <laughs> the girl in the beginning here. Tomoko. I was pretty sure it was something with a T, but I couldn't remember. But non-cheating, Raiko is the main journalist here. And fuck if I know her son's name. The whole Sadako or Sadako, whatever way you want to say it. I've heard it say it said both ways. Probably others. Sadako Yamamura is, is it's so much better of a character than Samara. Like, in every single way. I mean, I know that... And she's not as young in this film, right? I know she's not in Spiral. If, I keep thinking that's the one I remembered. I looked it up. So I did see Spiral. That, but there's, like, a few scenes in that, if I remember that... Like, Sadako goes... Sadako. <laughs> I'm just not going to say names. The ghost chick. Sadako has a few scenes in that. That she's, like, licking the main character, like, in this semi-sexual way and stuff. So if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Sadako is older in this than creepy young girl Samara. And that's another thing that, I mean... That's an American thing. I mean, creepy children movies do great in America. But Sadako is so much better. Like I said, I love the whole disturbed face effect in the ring. It's just done differently here. I can't say I like it better or not. Like, it's just a flash of the character's face. But it fits with the tone of the movie. So, I don't know which one I like better. I don't really have a preference. But just stylistically... I like it better in Ringo here. But this is the downside to remakes that are pretty much close to identical as the original movie. Because like I said, doing the re... <laughs> doing the re... I wanted to say remake and ring combined. So during the remake, I talked enough about the story here. So I don't want to be repetitive and go on. Everyone knows the story of the ring. It's just the way that Nakata filmed this, and just the style to it, the atmosphere, all that type of stuff that I was talking about earlier. So we have Raiko hoping that's... Fuck it. <laughs> that's not how you say it. That's how I say it. So Raiko is the journalist here, and she finds out after, you know, her niece passes away, Tomoko, about this videotape, and she goes to find out what she can for this story. The kid, her son, sorry for about blanking on the name, is so much better than Aiden in the remake. You guys know how I feel about that kid. <laughs> he looks dead all the time. He, he, he just, he doesn't look natural. I don't like him. <laughs> like, he's fine. I just, he's not at the punchable kid face level, you know, that I hold uh, Bob from House by the Cemetery by Lucio Fulci and Manhattan Babies also in, or uh, Danny Torrance, the kid who plays him in the miniseries of Stephen King. Like, that, not that level of punchable face on a kid, but it's close. Like, Aiden just doesn't do it for me. So much better. Like, the son is just better in every single way in this film. Also, shout out to my boy Lorne. If uh, you guys aren't pres uh, prescribed... <laughs> You guys aren't prescribed by lowering something. Go get prescribed. No, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, visit by Voices. I'll link his uh, channel or have a pop-up or something. This is his ninth favorite film of all time. So, Lauren, I'm sure if you see this, you're rolling over and... Well, you're not dead. 
you're very much alive. But you're rolling over somewhere about me butchering the names and everything in this film. But, you know, Japanese horror ain't really my thing. So let's not spend like two-thirds of the summer talking about Japanese horror. Like here when you get the actual face reveal of Tomoko. I hope it's Tomoko. <laughs> rolling around in the closet. And like I said, it looks just a lot more... It looks creepier, honestly, than the, the real twisty effect in the remake and the, se- the god-awful sequels to the remake, man. Oh, those were so hard to get through. That's another reason I just needed a few days. Like, I couldn't watch anything related to the ring or anything after rings. Oh, that was so bad. But it just looks a lot creepier. It looks... In, it's weird because in a way it looks more natural which makes it creepier. I've made up my mind now. I like it better in this movie. <laughs> Yoichi! That's the son's name. Yeah, I cheated and Googled that shit too. <laughs> because there was no way I was waiting for her to say his name. Now, if I remember right, her ex-husband, like the Noah counterpart from the remake, he's a psychic in this movie. Or was a psychic? That's completely different from the remake. I don't remember if that adds anything, but I remember that he was a psychic, or is, or I'm guessing is. I mean, do you lose your psychic abilities at some age or something? Or can they be taken away if you, you know, malpractice? <laughs> I don't know. I like the effect over uh, when she goes to Izu Pacific uh, Resort, where the friends were and they watched the tape. There's like an effect when she's at the counter, and she's looking at all the cassette tapes, and they like... I can't really describe the effect, but if you've seen it, you know what I mean. They, like, blur a little, like static on a TV, kind of, and she's, like, kind of just fixates on, the like, the video that she assumes is the one because it, it's in a white box, I guess. I mean, that was one lucky guess. All right, let's talk the actual tape, like the content on it, versus the remake. So much better here. So much better. Like, it, it has grainy effect to it, like, a lot more than in the remake. It looks too clean in the remake. And just the images here are creepier. Like, they just are. And I've said this talking about Rocky Soroya's films, the Indonesian horror director that I've covered a few of his doll films on here. i still got to do one and three. But I've said in one of those videos for one of his films, just foreign horror in general, it's foreign to us. So it's naturally going to be more scary. It's naturally going to be scarier. For, at least for me. When I see, like, especially, like, Asian R and stuff, since it's such a cultural difference, just the way everything is, is shot and the, just everything of their culture and stuff that you see and stuff, all their writing, all of that, it's more immersive for me. And now this whole scene, when Yoichi goes up to his father... This has meaning here. I'm not going to pretend I know what it is, but it's it, it's rooted in Japanese culture. It's like they have like a bow moment almost. That's what I said in the Ring remake. It makes no sense, that whole scene. When Aiden walks up to Noah, makes no sense in the context of that film. It shouldn't be there. Here it makes sense. Again, I don't know how, but it does. This is also why I've said multiple times on the channel, never take a... <laughs> any type of medical advice or theory or anything that I say on this channel, you will perish. Like, um, as fast as you can imagine. So, Raiko watches the tape. Ex-husband. Pretty sure it starts with an R. Maybe there's a J in there. Let's call him RJ. <laughs> makes sense. Unless <laughs> those letters R in is his name. Then it makes no sense at all. But we'll go with RJ. I've made up names for characters many times. So RJ watches the tape also. Just like in the remake. I like, though, how Raiko's the one that points out when they're analyzing the tape. That, like, the shot in the mirror. That the camera's dead on and all that. That's Noah says all that in the remake. He's like the video expert in that. Here he's a psychic. Or was. I like how she points out that stuff. She's a lot more, and Naomi watched is phenomenal in the ring. And the way that her character is written is great. I like Raiko's character better. I feel like she's smarter. She's written smarter. Like I said, Naomi Watts, love her and everything. But uh, Chick here, who plays uh, <laughs> Raiko, great, great job. 
So they find out about Sadako and her mother, Shizuko. They just said it. <laughs> I know it's it starts with Shitsu. They're like the dog, I can guarantee that. Shizuko Yamamura. And if I remember right, doesn't Sadako have... I like, like I said, she's drastically different than from the American version. Isn't it explained in the sequel or something that she is like a hermaphrodite and she has both genitalia or something weird like that? Lauren, you'll know <laughs> if you're seeing this, but I don't know. Something weird like that. But again, she's so much better than Samara. All right. The whole near the end sequence, like before RJ ends up croaking. When they're going, they find the well. When they go back up to Itsu and the resort, they find the well underneath. And the shots of her fingernails, Sadako's fingernails, we see this in the remake, so much creepier here. You guys know I can't do fingernails. All the decapitations and, and bodies torn apart, all of that. Fingernails, man, they get me. And it, great shot there, but oh, it makes me wince. Yeah, Sadako's much older than Samara. <laughs> I mean, it took me to the scene to, like, really see her. Well, like, and this is the iconic scene when she comes out the TV with RJ. And he's chilling there. He, this whole scene is done so much better in this film. Like, it's, again, like, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but it's good in the remake. It's a great remake, like I've said many times. It's just done so much better here. You don't need her with the the swelled up, bloated looking weld body that she was down there forever. She, you don't need any of that. Just the fingernail effects on Sadako here with she's missing all her fingernails. That looks great. And just the fact that she has regular skin and all that, like she looks creepier. And the face, when you just get the close up of her eye, such an iconic shot. I mean, that's, that is, that might be in the top 25 shots in a film for me, which I keep saying I should do a video of like, my top shots in a film in films and the ending is pretty different from uh the remake that she goes Riko with her son after she realizes rj didn't make a copy of the tape and she did so then they drive her and her son to her father's house and it's heavily implied they're going to show the tape to her father to continue the cycle on so that's very different and i actually love that ending much better but a lot of fun. I kind of regret doing Ringu after the remake. I kind of wish I did this first, like originally planned, but you guys voted. <laughs> so it is what it is. Awesome. And then tomorrow I'll get into Ringu 2 and uh, Spiral and Zero the day after that. And then we'll jump onto the grudge, Juwan. I'm not doing the remakes. There's no goddamn way. I never liked the remake of the grudge. It's not really my thing. Adore the original. So, Jew on the Grudge will be coming, Dark Water, all those awesome ones. Audition, Takashi Miike. Hey, I can say that name right. Take care, guys. Love you all. So much creepier here. You guys know I can't do fingernails. I can watch all the deck. <laughs> so, RJ watches the tape also. Just like in the original movie. The original movie. <laughs> Just like in the remake. Like, that's completely different from the film. The, the film. But, yeah. <laughs>